In 1942, thousands of black soldiers maneuvered in central Louisiana. These men fought for a country, but yet they didn't have basic civil rights here at home. These men died for freedom, but did have freedom of dignity at home. In the 1940s, over 500,000 soldiers trained in this area. We're proud of their sacrifices, but many black soldiers were left behind and they just weren't respect. And today, the African American 761st Tank Battalion was honored for their bravery. During World War II, a historical marker was inserted on the grounds. There are many stories out there to be told about, uh, you know, many African Americans and the roles that they played in our society and in America and all the above or whatever. So uh, uh, that's important and now becomes part of a tour. Lieutenant Billy Nungesser says the Louisiana Civil Rights Trail is a depiction of rich stories the state has experienced and it examines the civil rights era. This is a special marker because it honors not only someone or a team from the civil rights movement, but also those that fought for this country. And many of you that know me know how I feel about our veterans, our National Guard, and those men and women that sacrifice so much. The tour includes real life stories and real life experiences on a trail that explores the movement that shifted history. And this is just one aspect of something unbelievably positive that came out of it, especially after the president's uh, executive order uh, integrating the military. And what was formed as a result right here in central Louisiana, the story needs to be told and people need to know the 761st. Uh, the 101, the 82nd Airborne, all those that happened right here in central Louisiana. For military vet Cornelius White, viewing the marker on Camp Beauregard is a major step. We need to know more about our black troopers and stuff because they fought hard to get victory. They were fighting what they call double V victory, victory abroad and victory at home. Residents and tourists can see this marker positioned at the Louisiana Maneuvers and Military Museum and Patton's Panthers will live on. Real people, real stories, real solutions. Sin Law Gets Real. Miranda Thomas, ABC 31 News, that works for you.